Okay, you gotta give us a moment. waiting for this moment the whole day. Welcome. Welcome to the Mariah Report. I'm Martin Burgess. I'm Dan Enriquez. This is a special Q&A edition. Yeah. You know, we, we didn't really... It's a slow moments week with it Mariah. Is. She's out there doing a little couple things. We know she's in the studio. Still working. But we figured, you know, why not switch it up? Yeah. You know, so we had all of you listeners send in questions having to do with Mariah or not with Mariah. Yeah. And, uh, and so we've picked quite a few, but... You know, we can. Well, if you feel like you missed out or we didn't get to your question, we're going to do this again. Yes. So send us questions. Yes. You can do that at to our email, which is Mariah Report at Gmail dot com. Yes. Or any of the social media things. Yeah. Like Twitter. Yeah. Instagram. This is you the could slide yeah. up in the DMs. You know, exactly. that's what the kids say. This is the debut of that. So, uh, yes. Oh, it's I a, lost my questions. Yeah. Here they are. Don't feel like you missed out. <laughs> anyway, this should be a fun little situation. I think so, too. You yeah. know, it's a way to get to know us, you know, because we're sort of like always like with our back in times, we're specifically discussing one little thing or like yeah. during the moments episodes, like we don't always get to like expand yes. or like address certain things yeah, yeah, yeah. about us or Mariah. So yes. like this is this is why this is the first of its kind and we're going to have fun. Yeah, exactly. Um, so before we get started. I'd also want to have a little sad news for the week. Um, I wanted to thank everybody who sent their well wishes to me this yes. week. So um, I'm not sure if I ever told... I think I did tell the people. So my full-time job, I was caring for someone, this man called Sam. Uh, he was 92. 92 uh-huh. years old. Old gay man. Been around forever. <laughs> yes, honey. Uh, yes. He had a stroke about 10 years ago before I knew him. Um, and so... Full time, I was taking care of him every day and trying to help him get recover from that or just like stay healthy. However, um, we lost this weekend. He passed away on Saturday. Perfectly, he went to sleep on the couch. In, nice in a good smooth transition. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and anyway, so that happened. Um, I'm gonna miss him. People have been so nice to me about it, especially listeners that I didn't know were following me on Instagram. Oh yes, had reached you got, out. You got the you got the people, Martin. I know. You so got the I want to thank everybody. No, that is very sweet and kind, and you know, um, a cute little story about Sam. So, so he had the stroke. So he was like his speech was um, impaired, and he had some, had some disabilities, but still very lively, and you know, and with it, with it, and like functional and everything. Um, but of course, he's a thousand years old. That doesn't know who Mariah was. Didn't know who Mariah was. Oh so my gosh. I forced Mariah onto him. Um, made him like listen to Hero and stuff or whatever. Uh-huh. I'll play when I have to do work with him. I'll put a whole album on or whatever. But he always loved Christmas. Oh my god! Yes. Before I turned it up, um, and so I introduced him to All on for Christmas Is You. And he loved that song. Oh, my God. He, like, every year we would play it. There was, like, one time I actually had to go to Australia for, for Christmas. And I had come back just after. And I guess the song came on somehow. And he was like, did you sing that song when, I was, when you were away oh. <laughs> about me? And I was like, yeah, of course, always. But um, anyway, he ended up loving that song. And then just last year, I had gone out for something, do an errand real quick. And I came back and he was like, oh, our song came on. And I was like, what song? Oh. He's like, that song about you wanting me for Christmas. Oh, and I was like, oh, that song? Cute. Yeah. Uh huh. So, oh, I love it. So All I love for it. Christmas is you. Yes, I know I would come over for your little Christmas parties, and you always had Mariah. Yes. One of the two albums. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody would be jamming out. That's so sweet. Anyway, so I'll think of him. When I hear that song now Well, that's your song It has a whole new meaning now There, there you yes. have it And that's what Mariah does Uh-huh And it's those little things And you did a wonderful job Taking care of him And making sure That, you know It was yeah. all peaceful and, and smooth for him Yeah And again, without him No Mariah report That's true Because yeah. you wouldn't you wouldn't, wouldn't be here You wouldn't be here You'd be doing God knows Somewhere yeah. else Doing uh-huh. something Yeah So yeah And how long did you take care of him for? Eight years Eight years? Yeah. Girl! I know. Oh my gosh, I for some odd reason thought it was like six or five or six. No, 2010 I started. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, long time. And through him, it's, so it was a friend of a friend. My friend Norbert um, knew him before the stroke and then was taking care of him when he had the stroke. Um, and so I had met Norbert 
um, we were doing some PR work together like back back then. And so, oh, actually, this goes back to Oprah, Oprah okay. the Oprah show. Oh, look at all these! <laughs> yes. Look at all these connections. So I had was working in PR and marketing. I was miserable. I hated it, and I actually wanted to go back to Australia. I had my ticket booked and everything. I was going to leave. So Norbert, I had met at a party, and he he is an artist. He has all these paintings, and he said, "Oh, can I hire you to like put together a catalog for me and do a biography and you know do some work?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, sure." Like, yes, <laughs> like anything. Yeah, any, sure. Anything yes. that I don't have to do this damn other work. Yeah. Uh-huh. Or oh, money. This is New York City. Oh, right. Yeah. True. So I was like, yeah, no prob. Um, so got to like know Norbert and was hanging out with him and stuff. Met Johnny through Norbert, who introduced you and I. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's how I met you. Um, but at the same time, um, I had finished my last job and I was feeling like, my, this, my soul had been sucked out of me a little bit So I was like I need something like soul nur- To nourish my soul Right Remember your spirit Exactly Very Oprah So I went to Barnes & Noble up Here on the Upper West Side And I was like I just need something Like some sort of book Or something Just to like Get my head straight And I saw that book Called My Stroke of Insight <gasps> Oh yes Which Oprah had done before Super Soul Sunday, she had like a web series. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Was it called Super Soul I, Series or something? Something like that. Or chats or whatever. But yes. anyway. Um, and so she interviewed this neuroscientist or neurologist. Neuro- neuroscientist. Surge- no, surgeon? No, no. She was a scientist okay. studying it. Neuro- this neuroscientist called Jill Balty taylor who had had a stroke. Yes, yes. And that was a fan- fascinating story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so... So Dr. Taylor like knew what a stroke was and got to like observe herself have the stroke. Right. And right. then recovered from it fully and then managed to write this book, was able to write this book. So I saw it there in Barnes & Noble and I'm like, I, don't know, I thought, I'm going to read that book. I'm going to pick it up. So I took it home, read the book, a fascinating read all about strokes and like what it's like to have one and be in it and, you know, the experience of a stroke. Because I never really knew what a stroke was. Well, yeah, I mean, me neither. Yeah, like you think, people always say it's like a heart attack in the brain. Well, what does that, what the fuck does does that mean? mean? Yeah, (laughs) I know. Um, Anyway, so I read the book. Um, Interesting. Uh, And then, so, fast forward, I met Norbert not long, like weeks, within weeks. I had met Norbert. Norbert said, oh, yeah, um, I have all my paintings here in the apartment. Um, I was like, well, do you want me to come around and look at them? And, you know, we can, like, uh, figure something out. He's like, yeah, yeah, come over. But um, I'm kind of embarrassed. I live with an old man who had a stroke. So I'm like, oh, really? Oh, really? I just read <laughs> yeah. this fascinating book. Yeah, I just read this book about stroke. So I'm like, I don't care. I don't, whatever. Who cares? So I came over and that's like the first time I met Sam. And then from there on, you sort of like took over. Yeah. Well, I wasn't working. So Norbert was always like here in the apartment. So he's like, oh, come over. Just come and hang out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I had my ticket to Australia like a few months later. I was in my final You're like, like I'm, I'm getting out. Yeah, uh-huh. So I was like, I'll come hang out. So then I got to know Sam. Like, he was fine. He was, like, functional and fine. I got to know him. Um, Norbert. This is a long story. It's We're going to get to the q and fine. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm fascinated. <laughs> Norbert, his visa was running out. Oh. He was from Germany. So he was like, hey, uh, do you want to stay and look after Sam? I'm like, no way. Because I got to go back. He's like, I got to go back. I was like, I come, no way. I didn't do that. Like, I didn't know how to do that. Yeah, right. I mean, that's my problem. Like, yes. don't let me. Uh-huh. So I can barely take care of myself. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh, but then he was like, well, they're going to have to like put him in a nursing home or something. And like, you know, I don't know what it is, but when you're like a gay person going into like an institution is a, a different experience. Right, they're not right. Pe- you like your things. You like yes, the, you like your things. You like your nice home. Like, you like your and PBS. He's lived. Yes, uh-huh. He lived f- here for how many years? He's been in this apartment fifty plus. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh huh. He don't want to go nowhere. Exactly. So uh, I was like, oh, that's sad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but can't help you out. Yeah. But, but then once again, Norbert was like, why don't you come and do a few days? We'll pay you. I was like, oh, what? (laughs) (laughs) Anything for a check. So he was like, come and just like try it out. See if you like it. So I tried it out. I was like, actually, I can do this for a little while. Right. Not thinking eight years later. Yeah. uh Uh-huh. Anyway. Oh, my gosh. They become like your kid. You can't can't leave them. No, you can't. Anyway, but, you know, um, the goal was always Sam wanted to die at home. Uh, And so we did it. Yeah, mission accomplished. And there you go. And you know, he did it how he wanted, and it was fabulous. Yeah, 
there you have it. It's a cool story. It is. It is. Because like all those strange things and then like how your life changes and who you meet and come across. And, and create. And you end like up this. doing something that like you would have never in a million years never. thought that you would be doing this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or like let alone like just for like it to be like an older like war veteran gay man. Yes. Uh-huh. Who's lived 92 years. Yeah. And been through all of it. Those stories. Like, it's fascinating. Yeah. Those stories you hear like, oh. Gay people back in the day would get fired from their jobs and their, uh, their name would be printed in the newspaper. That was like... will be outed in outed the news publicly. Paper. Yeah, publicly. Could you believe it? That was him. Like, he got fired from jobs. His friends were outed in the newspaper, arrested, all of that. Absurdity. Like, those were, that was, those are real stories. Yeah. And he went through that. Oh my gosh, what a life. What a life, right? What a life. You know, 92 yeah. years. You think of all that happens in the world in 92 years. Yeah. I, I mean, most people would be lucky to say, you yeah. know, they got 70 years. Exactly. Uh-huh. So. Anyway. Good for him. I'm Full life. Also funny, like now I've kind of come back around to podcasting, back to the media. Because, you know, I have a degree in media right, and communications, right. not healthcare. <laughs> So. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, who knew? <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of like come back around. Yeah, because of him, like yeah, You're right, exactly. It all, the, and it all sort of happens how it's supposed to, and all those little connections that you make through, yeah, put you where you're supposed to be. And you guys listening, uh, he, listening to this because of, because yeah. of Sam, all of those little things. Yeah, so love it. So rest his soul. Yeah, we're gonna have a fun, it. a fun funeral for him. It's gonna be a big celebration. It'll be fabulous. Yes. Gay and fabulous. I know. Which anyone would want. So I love it. I secretly want to play All On For Christmas Is You, but it's oh. June. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think people will get it. <laughs> they might not make the connection. They might have to tune in to this episode to yeah. get the connection. And some of these people, I mean, Sam's friends are, you know, they're yeah. up there in age as well. Uh-huh. So like they They'll don't be know confused. nothing about a podcast. You'll yeah. have to teach them a whole new thing. But look at Mariah's, a testament to Mariah's songwriting. The 92-year-old with a brain injury is loving right. All For Christmas Is You. Exactly. Exactly. She yeah. crosses the boundaries. All the boundaries. The generations. Yes. With that, with that song and many others. Yeah. But like, come on now. Yeah. I love that damn song. So good. Mariah didn't even know what she was doing with that damn song. I know. Look at it. There was one time at Christmas, um, you know, you put the Christmas station on. It just uh-huh. plays random songs. There was like one of the cover All I Want For Christmas Is You was on And he was on the couch singing it To oh, himself cute <laughs> yeah, I know <laughs> He just loved it Anyway Okay So that's that Thank you to everybody again Yes Let's get into our Q&A session Here we go yeah, First one ever Let's see what we're going to find out In today's episode of Q&A Alright so let's go randomly you start? Should we go randomly? Yeah um, Alright let's start with Nelson Hernandez he said, besides the Mariah Report, what's the best source for Mariah's biography? Th- is there a good book or interview? Great question. Good. See, back in the day, you had Mariah Daily. Exactly. And you could like find and stuff real time. you could literally time. go back. I mean, it's been a way, it's been, Mariah Daily's been gone for a while, but like they had like everything archived pretty well yeah. from the time that they started, which was probably like 1998. Yeah. There's that other website too. Um, what's the one with the the network? Not network. Oh, the, that's just pictures. There's that yeah. one with all the articles archived. I think they have all the articles I- archived. Mariah network, network as well has all the archived like ma- like major magazines. Is it Mariah Connection? There's that one where it's like orange. No, someone's yeah, orange. Can, yeah, it's like a different website. It's, We'll get back to you on this. Yeah, oh, you'll get back to you on that. <laughs> this isn't going well. No, but um, the Wikipedia page is pretty good. Well, because you know that we we did not we really read, read the, all yes. of these things, so we don't know if we have answers or not. <laughs> I mean, we read them, but like we both threw them in there and things, and we tried not to think about them because then it ruins like the moment. No, here. We're, okay, we're warming so, up. Anyway. So anyways, Mariah Daly was a good source, but like... The Wikipedia is good. Wikipedia is really good. Like, you can find pretty much anything you want. Yeah. Um, But for me, though, I would love if there was, like, some sort of, like, an updated, unauthorized biography of hers, which there are not. But there is a good unauthorized biography. Yes. And I believe it's by an author called Chris Nixon. Yeah. I uh could be wrong. Uh Uh-huh. Um... Like, he did one of her, like, maybe in, like, 95, and then he updated it 
like after the divorce from Tommy. Yeah, it's called Nick Chris Nixon. It's called the un authorized biography Mariah Carey yeah that's it but that's like a small book like I wish there was like a really big good one or that like even Chris Nixon yeah I don't know where he is or what he's up to but like can you like you know bring us up to date on like what Mariah's doing like you know what I mean oh this is the good one that I read oh yes when she's on the cover in the pink yeah Mariah Carey it's just called Mariah Carey by Mark Shapiro. Oh, Mark Shapiro has a good one too. That's, yeah, 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 yeah. That's I read a good that one, too. one. It's good, and it's good for like the early stuff. Yes, like early career. I think both of the books are good for the early stuff because after like glitter, there was not much like written down. Yeah, other than you know like what you'll find on Wikipedia. Exactly. But if yeah. you also though there were a couple of good TV shows that you can maybe find on YouTube, but like you know Lifetime, the Lifetime Network. Network, they did a um, not a biography, but like uh, what's that show that they do with l- oh, Lifetime? True, oh, like True Life, something? Not not True Life, but like a uh, okay, the A and E channel. Let's yes. let's start there. <laughs> the A and E channel did a Mariah Carey biography episode, right? Which is forty five minutes. Yeah. So you, and she talks in it so like you Uh know and all the people so you can check that out a and e biography mariah carey yeah and then lifetime network did one that's very similar and i don't know what it's called and those were i think both done around the charm bracelet era i want to say so like you know you get sort of that um that post glitter yeah you know comeback moment Uh, we need actually that's what we need a good updated Biography Docu show Docu show For real Yeah uh huh like We weren't getting that With Mariah's world Oh please Oh please Oh please I'm trying to delete that From my brain <laughs> <I> No <laughs> <laughs> That was I just renamed name, name, but Rename that to Stella's world Or something And I'm delete not, it From the Mariah yeah, catalog Delete it Don, Done and gone Like for God's sake Anyway um, So I would I would recommend those that The books Or those A&E biography things That you can find Or yeah. like the E True Hollywood story Of Mariah That's Carey. it That's what I was thinking That's, of But That's yeah They too. have that one too But there's also one For Lifetime Oh Lifetime Intimate Portrait Oh, 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 yes. oh, yes. They have one on Mariah. Okay. They have, then they have the A&E biography. Yep. And then they have the E! True Hollywood story. All of those are good. Okay. So, like, get those old ones. But that Mark um, Shapiro book, real good. It is a good one. Yeah. It is a good one. It is a good one. Um, okay. okay. How about from Legendary Lamb? They say, they ask, have you guys ever gotten into a bona fide argument together over a Mariah topic? Um, and I don't think we have... I mean, not really because like you like the things that you like, yeah, and I accept that. <laughs> <laughs> and there's like things that I like, and I uh, accept that. Like yes, it's just like we don't argue about it. Like I would never argue about it. Like why would there's I? No point argue, argue, there's no yeah. point. There's no point. Yeah, I think because we both come from the Oprah school. Like, yes. girl, you just say what you need, and yeah. that's it. And then you don't have to argue over it. It just is what it is. Exactly. And you know, I don't think there's anything that like we would ever argue over. I mean the. There are definitely different opinions on stuff, stuff, but... But, like, the early Stella days, you were really against her. Yeah. I was trying to give her a chance. Right. But that crumbled. That went down the drain. And I kept telling you. I was like, Martin, I'm telling you. I know, I know. I see it. I see it. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. But, like, we were disagreeing, but we weren't. There's no argument. No, and yeah. like you know, you you were like, no, no, we can't talk, we can't talk poorly about her on on the podcast. And I was like, I will because she ain't. But then you would talk me out of it, yeah. so I would try to say nicer things. <laughs> but once that once Mariah's world came around, it was all over with, over. And then we we're it was all guns ablaze. Yeah, we uh-huh. were cursing her out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny to listen back to those episodes. So, so. Not, we have not argued. No, we don't. I mean, I don't even argue. I mean, it takes a lot for me to argue. Yeah. I don't have the energy. Because by the time I realize, like, the conversation is going in a crazy direction, I'm like, fine. Look, yeah, it will be what it will be. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Fine. Com- fine. I don't need to, like, win the argument. Exactly. I'm not that type of yeah. person either. Like, I'm There's not, no like, yeah. going to get anything out of, like, allegedly winning an argument yes. over, w- what, a Mariah song? Uh-huh. Please. Exactly. Uh, other things to fight over and it's also like hard because it's an artistic piece yeah it's hard to like fight over art 
Right. Because you can have your, a whole other interpretation. I can't, you can't argue you with can, that. Yeah, you really can't. It's, it's crazy it's, if you do. Yeah. Those are like for crazy people. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're not crazy. We just sit here talking about Mariah for five hours. Five? We're up to like 200. I know, hours. right? Yeah. I mean five hours Literally. like a week. Oh, a week. <laughs> <laughs> and texting every and day. And texting like <laughs> endlessly. Uh, all right. Um... Okay, this one is from Miss Samantha15. Uh, what quality of Mariah do you admire the most or is the most meaningful to each of you? Mm. Mm, good one. You go first. Um, I like her vulnerability. So when she talks about problems she's had, like being her experience of being biracial uh-huh, or uh-huh. in a bad relationship. Um, or like uh, telling the world that she feels bad post breakup and writes about it in something like breakdown like yeah you're reading her diary all right like that i think that's a, a respectable quality to have and i kind of wish i was more like that i see more that. translucent right yeah i guess you know her being you know such a artist mm-hmm. it's almost like she needs that mm-hmm. outlet mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. but i don't need to be putting all my business out there though that's not me girl yeah, <laughs> But, you know, w- what quality of Mariah's do I admire the most? I think what, early on, I think what, I, like, I loved her vo- voice. That's what draw me, drew me to her. But oh, then obviously, yeah. I think, like, sort of getting to know her backstory of, like, oh, her perseverance yes. and, like, her drive to become what she has made for herself. Yeah. I think that's, like, one of her... That's a, It's a really strong quality because, mm-hmm. you know, from someone like me growing up in poverty, like what Mariah alludes to be growing up in, yeah. I know how hard it is to break that cycle mm-hmm. and how much you have to work to do that. Yeah. So like that, I think was one of the first things that I saw in her, like that I could relate to as a person, uh-huh. you know? Yeah. So I think like just her drive and, you know, hard work uh-huh. for what she wanted. Yeah. You know, she knew what she wanted, mm-hmm. ready to go, ready to do it. But also that, you know, um, being vulnerable let, allows her to talk about those things. There's no shame in coming from right, poverty. Right, exactly. Yeah. It, no, of course not. Some people so, yeah. don't want to be like be known as I came from poverty. They, oh, oh, hello. Yeah, no, I was the same way. I mean, it took me well into like my 20s before I would even like, you know, talk about th- that, that with anybody. Uh-huh. Like, no, you don't like, you know, so yeah. That's something I grew into being accepting of that. Yeah. And, like, not ashamed by it. Well, once you start talking, like, when you release the shame and start talking about it, you realize other people have that experience. My yeah. mother my mother came from dirt, poor, poverty, in a third world country, in Peru, and, like, pulled herself out of it. Right. Like, people experience it. See, but, uh, yeah, but it's, it's not uh, foreign to me, the idea. Yeah, no, no, no. But I feel like, you know, a lot, because I just know people for, you know that I grew up around, like mm. who are just okay with just continuing that life. Oh, uh-huh. And they don't have any aspirations or dreams to do anything else or yeah. to like get out of that lifestyle uh-huh. that is so unhealthy. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think in order for somebody to come out of that, I mean, it takes a lot. Yeah. It really does. And not everybody has that. Exactly. Yes. So. So you imagine she never spoke about it and you never knew. Oh, I know, right? Well, you wouldn't have that connection. I think that's also why, like, Make It Happen, because it was, like, one of the, her earlier songs, yeah. like, is one of my favorites. Because yes. I just remember being, like, a little gay boy with my tiny little radio. Without a penny thinking, like, name. Not, no, no pennies, honey, holes upon my <laughs> shoes. Uh, whatever she says in this song. <laughs> I was like, yes, girl, you made it. I can make it too. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, so it was like, it was that. Yes. I was like, yes, girl. Uh-huh. Um, okay. So, so we like those things. So we like those things, but there's so many other good qualities. Obviously she's a generous person. She's giving, she's caring, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh-huh. All that stuff. <laughs> all of that. Good too. things too. Lots. Um, all right. So let's do, this is from Shane Corbs. Uh, he says, what's your top five least favorite songs of Mariah? Ooh. That's a toughie. Uh, um, I could probably go right off the top of my head, actually, girl. So think. I'll go first. Go ahead. Um, I'm going to say uh, To the Floor. Okay. Um, impossible. Even though there's, uh-huh. good, in, again, there's good qualities in these songs, but they are like my least 
listen to probably like, cause I'd rather listen to something, something else. else. Right. Um, okay. I thought I had five of them. Maybe I don't. <laughs> oh, do you, you go, you in? jump in, jump in music box. No, nah. <laughs> girl, you want to get us beat up on the street <laughs> to say that to the lamely? So boring. No. And cheesy. Okay, let me, I, maybe I wasn't going through all the albums. I will say maybe, um, <laughs> not Music Box, but maybe something from the Music Box album. Maybe like, I don't know, now, now that I know, maybe? I'll say, I don't mind now that I know. It's kind of a jam, a bop on that album. Well, yeah, but I felt like both of the bops on that album, they were too forced. And what's Music Box? It's an adult contemporary ballad <laughs> that showcases Mariah's beautiful, <laughs> melodic <laughs> artistry. Uh, I'm sticking with it. Music Box. Um, what else? Ooh. I might even throw Shake It Off in there. Oh, no. I can flick Shake It Off on Emancipation. But the video is so good. Oh, the video is good. I'll take, I'll take it back. Sorry. Okay. What about, um, ooh, I had it. I had it and I lost it. Um, oh, this is a tough one, actually. I thought it'd be easy. I really thought it would be easy, too. Oh, um, oh, oh, oh. Last Kiss. Oh, I like Last Kiss, but you can have that one. I'm going to do a <laughs> Last Kiss. Thought, have our yeah. best argument. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take Last Kiss. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to put in. Um, oh no, see, I, I, like, I was going to say up in my face, but I think I like it because I heard yeah. it once and I liked it. Let's, let's sing maybe something from the debut. No, I really love all those. Oh, triumphant original mix. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, t- honey, yes. put I don't up in there. Oh, I don't. Oh, okay, okay, here we go. Why? Here we okay, go. here we yeah. go. Here yeah. we go. Infamous. Infamous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Oh my God, the remix. To oh, the worst, the Re- worst in the world of Infinity. The remix to Infinity oh. is the worst ever, ever. The one with Justin Bieber and all those other people. The other guy, yeah. Oh my God, that's the worst. Okay, so I hit my five limit, have I? <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling in the long in the same boat. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh, those like I could like if I never listen to them again, I'll be okay. Yeah, I agree with yeah. those ones. Okay, so Except I we... really don't like Music Box. I think it's too, okay. too you cheesy. You keep it on there. That's yes. fine. But like, okay, well, if you want to talk about, oh, it's cheesy, like all the ballads on that album are cheesy. The whole, I hate the whole thing. Well, I know, but <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's a, another question in here, Martin. <laughs> all right. Um, Do you guys shout out your um, top five hated songs? Hated. I mean, I'm sure people have a lot. Yeah. Um, all right. How about this one? JB Fly um, says, do you think that Mariah's vocal and musical style is outdated? Mm. Should she experiment with her sound or even put out a f- put out a full gospel album to guarantee another number one album without any pressure? Because, mm. of course, it will go number one gospel album. But like a lot of her albums go number one R&B. Yeah. But if it's not going number one Billboard 200, nobody really cares. Exactly. Yeah. So, I mean... Um, okay, well, let's break down the question. Do you think Mariah's vocal and musical style is outdated? I think it kind of... When you get I don't, you can tell she lost yeah. touch. Yeah. Got outdated, yes. That didn't sound fresh. Didn't sound like current music. Well, true. It was, it was heavily sampled as well. A song but, from like 10, 15 years ago. Exactly. Like Nobody wants that shit. Yeah. Um, I mean, I would say no, I don't, I think maybe some of her things have sounded outdated, but I don't think that that is like a blanket statement that I would say vocally or stylistically music wise. I would say no. No, because, um, I mean, the last album, Mia Mariah, that wasn't outdated. No, not at all. Like, I think Faded is like a fresh ballad. Oh, for sure. Like very modern. For sure. Yeah. uh Uh-huh. It has ballad qualities but has like a modern sound to it yeah i think that's good so yeah i think she she could Mm -hmm. but overall i would say no yeah i think she's still got it and i think she's gonna give us something um fresh and new because Mm -hmm. you know she does have the tendency to you know repeat her songs like we belong together don't forget about us you know what i mean slash i stay in love right exactly Uh so all of that like i feel like 
sometimes she does that, but I wouldn't say that those are like outdated. I just say they're rehashed. Right. Exactly. Which is totally different. Um, okay, and uh, okay, do you think she should do a gospel album? I don't think so. I don't think we're ready for that stuff yet. No, I don't think so either. Like, if she did a jazz album or a gospel album. Yeah, not there yet. Save maybe, it for later. Yeah, save it for later. Save it, you know, when you definitely don't have the possibility of having another hot 100 Billboard number one single. Yeah. So I think it's still there. Yeah, she still has that. No, like that, the gospel and the jazz stuff, that's great for Aretha Franklin and Patti LaBelle, who would sound stupid doing modern right cutting edge music yeah but i mean if you ask some people who are listening to the current ariana grande's or whoever's they're like yeah mariah's she's too old she's outdated like to us Uh she's uh not yeah but i would say you know maybe somebody from a younger age group who doesn't like mariah right would say yeah mariah's outdated true but like no one who likes mariah or like in our age group or above would would you know what i mean but there's still hope. I mean, you know, Celine has always been in the good graces of everybody. She's not getting hits anymore. True. Shania just had a hit album. Uh, would you call that a hit album? In the world of blips, of flashes and pans? I mean, I guess. I think it was more hype than anything. Maybe. Did you listen to the album? No. I did. Was it good? No. Oh. I mean, you know what? We've spoken about this before, and even Shania speaks on it sometimes. Um, But Mariah, you know, Shania loves Mariah. Yeah. Um, But I think, like, remember, like you said, like, a long time ago, she did the own network uh, docuseries and how, like, she had lost her voice from, like, the stress and everything like that. But... If you listen to her new album, you can tell her voice has been severely damaged uh-huh. and it's nothing like it used to be. And she also has Lyme disease. Oh, she does? Yeah, she has Lyme disease. And I think that can, that affects her vocals as well. Must. Yeah. Because like, I mean, she doesn't sound bad, but you can tell she her voice has changed. Ah. Uh, you know? It's kind of like whining now, right? Yeah, and it's just not as crisp, uh, you know. And people could say the same thing about Mariah, but like I think Mariah still has it. Like yeah. she just doesn't have the power that she used to. But like Mariah still, you know, sonically sounds beautiful. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anyways, I mean whatever, Shania, whatever. Um, what was the question? Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, gospel album? No, not yet. No, not yet. I would say no too. Yeah. Wait till yeah. she's like out outdated. Like right. we're all the nursing Like when we're she's in the 70 home. Yes Yeah uh-huh. Then then we'll have plenty of time Yeah um, Okay how about this one From Steve Duchon Oh Steve has a combo platter Yeah he has a Actually <laughs> he Some people sent multiple questions So feel free to send multiple questions um, But let's just go with this one Really quickly And we'll come back to his In a minute Okay um, What single Slash song in the last 10 years Do you think should have been a number one? Oh That's interesting I, Well honestly I think hashtag beautiful could have I was going to say the same thing it I had, said hashtag beautiful had all the potential in the world It did And I don't know what happened She didn't promote it Well because she was out there you know Running around with Nick Cannon Yeah he ruined everything He really did Yeah Because I think once they would have released those like dance remixes uh-huh, They uh-huh. would have done like I think it really It uh-huh, had bro. It had yeah. Yeah. yeah, it had potential. It had potential. Um, I also think other songs from like MC Squared, if she had promoted it, because once she bent that damn nick, she ran away. Yeah, that's true. Didn't do shit. Because I always love, I, I know all the lambs out there loved a migrate moment. Migrate, yeah. I also yeah, think yeah. I'll Be Loving You Long Time had potential. Yep, yeah, uh huh. She just never. Pump, like that means it. just never pushed it, but yeah. there was a lot of good songs on that album, yeah. so maybe something there, um, outside of Touch My Body, which we all love. But anything from em- Emancipation that should have got out, not really. She milked no, that one, yeah, she got everything she needed there, yeah. Um, and then Memoirs, uh, Memoirs was such a vibe album that mm. outside of Obsess, I wouldn't see anything charting there, even though I love some of those songs, yeah, like Standing O. Mm-mm. I like it's cute though. But what video? You can't do a video to it. You could, you could do a video. It was two thousand and nine. They could have done something. Could have done something. What well, like that stadium <laughs> special effects? Uh, let's just <laughs> let's just talk about all those videos from that era were trash. So we'll give a slide for obsessed. Obsessed, obsessed was his own 
separate piece from the yeah, album. Yeah, it was. And the same thing with Beautiful. Like they separate were, they're pieces. so sort sort of separate. We understand why Beautiful was because it came out a whole year ahead of time. But yeah. Like, what's up with that? Um, all right, but what? Okay, let's think. Should I, have been a number one. Okay, I think really think hashtag that's beautiful. It. Yeah, because hashtag beautiful had that fresh, crisp summer sound as well. It was perfect timing when it came out. Like it sounded good, right? And and nothing else on the chart was like it. Yeah, I thought it was great. Yeah, a lot. Of, I mean, I don't care. I, that that is still the jam. It's a jam. It's still the jam. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I, I thought, want those damn remixes. I really thought that that was going to go somewhere. Me so too. I think hashtag beautiful is, it was it. And she was on Idol. I mean, it was she perfectly... was up there. She was up there doing it. But I think Joe Schmo had a sour taste because, you know, Mariah's being difficult on Idol and all that shit was going down. Fighting with Nicki Minaj. Mm, I don't know. I'm, I can't, I can't really, I mean, I know all that was happening, but I can't really think of why other than the abrupt, like stopping the album, the break the and the break. breaking of the yeah. arm. I don't know why else, you know, it would not have gone there. Mm. Just, there's no more promotion. Like it was dead in the water now. Oh, well, okay. What so, you going to do? Yeah. <clears throat> all um, right. Let's, what else do we have, Martin? Okay, let's do Ryan from England. Uh, Ryan said, if you could only pick one Mariah song to listen to again, and again, I guess, what would it be? So one song to listen for over and over, forever. Well, I'm going to say, I mean, close my eyes, because that's my favorite song. Are you going to close my eyes? I think I want to do the Roof Back in Time Mob Deep remix. Okay. I mean, then that's it. Wait, I just want to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> because I feel like I can just keep studying that song and hear things and then think about it. And it's, yeah, and it's cont- always going to give you good. Yeah. Good moments. I ponder that song a lot. Yeah. Because you always wonder what, what it's about. Well, I can't wait until we get Mariah on the show and we're going to ask That's her. Good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Wood. So is that the... So right. yeah, I would say close my eyes only because... It's my favorite song. Okay. Um, well, Ryan also has another question. Quick via round. Favorite song from each of her studio albums. You can only pick one. Oh, my God. Should we work back to the beginning or beginning to front? Um, Let's start at Mariah Carey. Okay, Mariah Carey, because I'll chronologically know yeah. them better. Okay, yeah. That's like say, tell, asking me to do the alphabet backwards, girl. Know, yeah. I'm going to need a minute. <laughs> um, okay, Mariah Carey. Love takes time. Mm, same here. Oh, really? Yeah. You're not going to do Vision I, of Love? Oh, I love a good vision of love, but love takes time is where it's at. Uh-huh. Because, like I was obsessed with some of those early vision of or like, love takes time performances. Oh yeah, yeah, me too. I like you know the, what I mean? Like yeah. her, those live performances, especially from the 90, 1993 yeah um, Proctor's Theater, the one that they put on the one yeah. video uh-huh. DVD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good. Oh, so good. That's a real okay. good one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Emotions. Emotions. Uh, Make it happen. Ooh, I'm gonna do can't let go. Ooh, that's a close second for me. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, make it happen. I do love Can't Let Go. Okay, what's next? Uh, uh, music Box? No. Yeah. Oh, Unplugged. Well, Unplugged. Is that a studio album? Mm. We'll, take no. I, we'll take I'll Be There. I'll well, hope. I'll Be There, that one. Yes. I'll Be There. Fine. Sure, why not? Automatic. <laughs> <laughs> Win. Okay, and then comes Music Box. Yep. Oh, hmm. I uh, mean, if I only had a moment to pick one, I guess I would... I would... Okay... Uh, I would pick Anytime You Need a Friend. Well, see, I'm torn between that because the, the mixes are real good, the club yeah. mixes. Or Hero, because Hero's a good one. Oh, Hero's a good one. Would I pick Anytime You Need a Friend over Hero? Actually, I think I've listened to Hero more than Anytime You Need a Friend, so I'm going to go with Hero. Okay, I think... Do you want to share? Do you want me? Do you want to share my hero? Yeah, I think I might have to pick <laughs> hero, even though because. But it's like I need a live version of hero. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It have to be from the you know ninety six daydream tour. Oh, I like if we're the, talking that hero. Then like, let's go with that. Okay, that counts, right? No, they all count. You get okay. the whole package. You get the whole package, all the remixes yeah, and everything, uh-huh, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, okay. What's next? Music box is then Merry Christmas. Right? Well, all I want for Christmas is you, obviously. obviously. And then 95. Oh, no, wait. I don't know because you can, that's, that one you can get it later. You could get, yeah, you could get it Let on me think. album number I'm two. I'm going to take that back. I'm going to go with Miss You Most at Christmas. 
Cause... Okay, well then I'm doing that too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, because I want Miss You Most of Christmas. Oh, no, wait, hang on. Because then later I want something else. Oh, no, I'm, might... going, I'm going back to All of Christmas is You. Okay. There's something I would love on the second one. Okay. Then I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to stick with, it, we'll, we'll stick with that one. Okay. I'm going to do Miss You Most. All right. Okay. I've and got all I'm, I want. Okay. All right. Okay. So Next 90 is Daydream. Five, Daydream. Ooh. Ooh, this is a toughie. This is a really tough one. Ooh. Really <laughs> tough one. <laughs> it's only one. Shit. Oh, because fantasy is a jam. Fantasy is everything. Always be, be my baby is a bop. Uh-huh. I can sacrifice that one though. No, I can't. I mean, then, times but are then tough we got looking, looking in. in. No, no, no. Times are and tough. We got yes. all kinds of things like melt away, and we got yeah. underneath the stars. The interlude. We got uh, uh, the open arms. Yeah, yeah. Because her vocal is everything on that. Uh, oh shit. my god! You know, I'm I, gonna go with fantasy. I, I think I have to go with always my baby. Oh, okay. Even though oh, fantasy, that has a good mix too, though. It's fantasy. No, I'm going to go with fantasy. Okay, you take fantasy. I'm going to take Always Be My Baby. Because I'm like loving the original version in the club now. Oh, yeah. It's so good. It is so good. Yeah. I, I love all the versions. Yeah, me too. But, you know, I think because Mariah gives so much love to the ODB remix that it's, we don't hear it as often. Yeah. Like, we, don't, we hear the ODB remix more often than we do the album version. Yeah, but the album so version... So it's like when you go back to the album version... It's good. Oh yeah, it's everything. Uh huh. And the live in Japan. Oh yeah, every oh yeah. Of the album version. See, but I'm I'm sticking with Always Be My Baby though, because I still love it to this day. And like the Madison Square Garden performance is amazing. Yeah. And I love that she has them babies now. I know the club mix is real good. The club mix is amazing. We got two videos. Uh huh. I'm gonna go Always Be My Baby. All right. I'm, close I'm going fantasy. Close second fantasy because obviously it's iconic. Yeah. Okay. However. Looking in is amazing. Looking in, I mean, people don't even know. Yeah. Looking in is everything. All right, what's next? Okay. Butterfly. Butterfly is next. Oh, this is going to be a toughie. It is. Oh, no, it's not. I'm sticking with my. Yours is going to be the roof. Oh, does that count? Because there's another question. Can I get two? N- no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick Close My Eyes just because it is like my all time favorite. But believe me, I love Butterfly. I love Honey. I love oh, Outside. Good. So good. I love Whenever You. I, I love whenever you call. I can delete. Oh no, I was gonna say baby doll. I can delete. Uh, I love Fourth of July. Like I'm one of those good. bitches. I love yeah, everything on that album. It's all good. Especially after our butterfly series, I talked ourselves. Oh yeah, I talked myself into loving all the songs. All of them. It's really it's a master master class album. No, I'm sticking with the roof. Back in time. Okay. Yeah. The roof. Yeah. That makes sense. Because mm-hmm. then you got the original version. You got the. Mob Deep Mix, Mob Deep Mix, and that amazing video. Yes, that's true. It did have an amazing video. Yeah. That, ooh, that video is everything. everything. God, I love the look. Uh-huh. And then she's in the, and then the bitch gets wet. And the acting. Oh, it was so Oh, good. and the wet hair. Yeah. Oh, uh-huh. my God. Yes. Oh, I love that video. Yeah. And that limousine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love everything about it. Like that maroon limousine. Uh-huh. Like, oh man, people don't even drive in limousines anymore. I know, it's tacky to be yeah. seeing one. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Isn't that funny? Okay. Um, uh, next is... Okay, do we um, skip... We'll skip the number ones. Because there's only one song we can take off it. Well, yeah. Oh, maybe it's like a bonus round. Do we want anything saved? Mm, no. Because I read Pete Hero. Nah. No. It's not a studio album, and the oh, question wait, wait. did say studio album. It did. You're right, you're right. So we shouldn't okay. have even picked I'll Sorry. Be There for Unplugged, but we did. Um, so we move straight to Rainbow, Rainbow, which is a good one. I'm saving Heartbreaker. Oh, shit, my pedals are so good. Oh, my God, and Can't Take That Away is one of my oh, favorites. Oh, that too. Shit. You know what, though? I think... I'm thinking long term, what am I going to jam out to the most? Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker. I was at the club with um, our friend Johnny last night out in Queens. Oh, Lord, girl. What were they doing in the Queens? It was kind of fun, actually. It was busy. Okay. I did my lamb duties and requested Heartbreaker for the the kids. For the kids, so they know. So they know. Yeah, Yeah, I would say Heartbreaker, even though that one does have, that album does have a lot of good ones. But Heartbreaker is like, you know, it's classic. 
It's a good one. You get all the remixes. The I'm video's just, great. Yeah, I'm thinking fun wise. I want to yeah. have fun. Yeah. Uh, all right. What's next? Okay. Huh. So then next will glitter. Be glitter. Now this is going to be interesting. Hmm. Oh, uh, there's so many that I love. Like I love Lover Boy. Lover Boy. Didn't mean to turn you on. Is a jam. I mean, oh my god, "Want You" is really good. That's good. I forget how much I love that song. Yeah. Um, all my oh. life. All my life. Lead the way. You lead the way, never too far. Oh my god. Um, oh. reflection. I love reflection. Reflection is good. Reflection is good. I really love a lot on this album. I. I will. Oh gosh! I mean, what was I'm the gonna, song that she did? Why am I forgetting it? Where there was like turn silk down, bring Billy all the way up. That all my life. Oh, it was all my life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. that was a good one. I think yeah. I'm gonna just go and say lead the way. Just because, oh. like, it's re- really, really good. Like vocally, it's also like one of the last songs she wrote with Walter A. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with um. Didn't mean to turn you on. Okay, that's a great one. I love it. Oh one. my god, I jam out to that all the time. Yeah, yeah. But close with DJ Save My Life. That's a jam too. That's a jam too. So many damn jams. I know, right? This is a hard question. Yeah, um, I'm gonna I, stick with didn't mean to turn you on. Yeah, and I'll I'll. Do what you lead the way? You're doing lead the way. Okay. I'll do lead the way. All right. Next is charm okay. bracelet. Ooh, another hard one, girl. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with. Lullaby <gasps> Beach I was gonna go with Lullaby You can take it too we Okay I'm gonna take it too Cause I do love everything About, about that it. song It's a good song I mean It's a bop yeah. I love how it references The roof Yes Uh huh I love how she sings it Yeah Like I love everything About that But the, uh, there's so many Great ones on Through the Rain is great Through the Rain is great Bringing on the Heartbreak Is one of my favorites It's good I song mean was... Subtle Invitation Is really good That's good My too. Saving Grace Is great That's good Yours is good yeah, there's a lot on that album, but I'm going to say Lullaby. Sunflowers for Alfred Roy. Beautiful. Yeah. So good. I know. No, Lullaby. It wins. Lullaby, hands down. Hands yeah. down. Okay, Emancipation. Uh, okay. You get one. Mm, mm, mm. I mean... I'm going to take We Belong Together. Okay, because I was going to do the same thing. Cause oh, okay. I, but I was going to say, like, I hate... You know, when I ask somebody, oh, what's your favorite Mariah song? If they say We Belong we Together, together yeah. I get real uh, I get real heated because even though I love the song and I would pick it yeah. as my favorite from the album, <laughs> I just feel like it was like everybody just got on the bandwagon of loving Mariah then. Right. And yeah. I'm like, oh, you're one of those, like, you know uh-huh, what I mean? Uh-huh, uh-huh. But I would pick the same thing if yeah. I had one choice. No, because we're, we're talking about one album, one song. And uh, when I ask people, I'm talking about you know, 28 yes. years uh-huh. and 15 albums, yes. you know. Because you know, okay, well, we can't have a conversation right now. <laughs> <laughs> the one that I wanted to have with you. <laughs> right, because I thought you were going to say something like, you know, like a pedals or a close my eyes yes. or looking in, uh-huh. and then we could be like, oh, okay, now we can really get into it, but you're going to choose. We want together, and then you're going to follow up with it's a shame she just doesn't write her own music oh i I know it's one of those people it's one of those (laughs) (laughs) allegedly we don't know we don't know okay so we belong together uh for that one then what comes next is e equals mc squared yeah Hmm. one song that's sort of a tough one because i do love a lot on there and i see i love for the record Oh, for the record, it's great. I love I Wish You Well. I love oh, My Great. Good. I my love great. I'll Be Loving You Long Time. Touch My Body's a jam, but I don't love it hmm. as much. I've got some good jams already with Heartbreak and Fantasy. True. And I, li- I like, the, like the remix <clears throat> versions of Touch My Body better than the actual version. Unless I'm watching the video, then I'm like, hey, girl. I like hmm. Love Story. Ugh. You didn't like Love Story? Uh, girl, no, throw that in with Last Kiss, girl. Oh, send shit. it somewhere. Send really? It, send it down the river. No. I could do, I could do without it. <laughs> I could definitely do without it. <laughs> the acapella love story? Okay, that was a great minute and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, what am I going to chew? What about I'm That Chick? Uh, it's a bop. That's a bop. That's a bop. Cruise Control the bop. Oh, I love Cruise Control. Oh, my God. How could I forget? Okay, I think I am going to go, I'm going to go out and I'll be loving you long time. It's a jam. Yeah, I would, I would pick that as my favorite. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to go with Migrate. Yeah. 
Now, you know, all of these answers could change from day to day, Tomorrow, or hour different. to hour yes, with me. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> It's never the same. All right, it's never. It's MC never. MC squared. Uh, next is memoirs. Oh, memoirs. Okay. Okay. Ugh. This is. You know, one of my favorites, though. I. Okay. It's a toss up for me. Let me see if I could like choose because I love. Oh well, I. Um, okay. I'm either gonna say, hate you. Oh, hate you's good. Or more than just friends. Uh because I like that one. Like I find myself listening to more than just friends quite often. Really? Yeah, it's just fun. I love how she sings it. The lyrics it I is, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, see, I'm t- I'm torn between. I want to know what love is. Okay, that's good. I that love the live good. version. I, and I do love that. I do love that. And hate you, but hate you. I'm not wild about the live version so much because it's a bit too slow live. Yeah. Oh, but and I the, like the album version. The album version's great. But the video sucks. Video does suck. And I want to know what so, love is. Honey, I want to know what love is. <laughs> Music video should never have been made. I'm really <laughs> sorry. It just shouldn't have. Uh, I think Nick Cannon made it, probably. No, it was Hype Williams, actually. Oh. Could you believe it? I just think there was like, I don't know what they were doing. I don't know what they were going for. I don't know either. Really crazy. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna go. I'm going to say. I'm going to say hate you. Uh huh. That's yeah. good. Hate you's good. Oh, shit. I don't know. This is tough. It really is just to choose one. <laughs> it could be crazy. I mean, I'm gonna go with. I want to know what live is. I have more fun with it. Okay. I enjoy it more. I love. That. I've listened to it. More. It took over because I listened to Hate You a lot, but then I want to know what live is took over. All right. That's my fave. I love it. Um, All right, next is... Next is... Memoirs. Is it Chantus? Merry, Merry Christmas to you. Oh, Merry Christmas to you. I'm going to say... All I want for Christmas is you. Wait, did I... What did I say earlier? I took... All I want for Christmas is you, right? Yeah. I took it back. You did. Because okay. you said there's something so, else okay, I hear yes. that you love. All right. I want... Um, Christmas time is in the air again. Oh, beautiful. That's such a good beautiful. song. Oh, you know, I love one child. Oh, too. that's good too. <laughs> this Ooh. is a hard question to pick one. No, but since I didn't pick All I Want for Christmas is You from the first album, I have to on the second album. But you got to save it, yeah. But if I didn't, I would be picking One Child. Mm. Or maybe the song with her mama. I can do without mama. Really? Sorry. I just think like, I love for her, the nostalgia. I mean that's cute, and she's fine and everything. I'm just I'm I'm going to pick all I want for Christmas is you. Okay, yeah, mine is Christmas is in the air again. Okay. Christmas time is in the air again. I love it. All right, next is Chantus. Um, next is the elusive Chantus. Yeah, faded. Are we sure about that? There's no album, right? There's no album. No, there's no. It was like other random songs. Album, right? <laughs> no, Girl, had, if we're forgetting an album, no, but it would be like fired. Um, no, no, because she had the babies. Christmas to you that, came oh, out. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Chantus was the first album. So back. Chantus faded. Hands I down. I love faded. I really do. But I love beautiful. I love. Mm. You don't know what to do. Mm. Oh, I love heavenly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh my god I love Cry Cry's good You gotta pick one I'm going to oh, Meteorite Oh Meteorite's a jam but um, Again I got jammed I think Fade is like The most unique song On the album And in the catalog or The whole I catalog mean, I I know I know uh, I'm gonna say Faded too then Yeah okay. I am Because you're right It Like it is It is that Like fresh Unique you know, you don't know what it is. It's like a you're like pop, oh, ballad, and then like the what towards the end, the end, the vocals. She are, kills it. Yeah, I mean, because it's like like a, a constant like it's almost like oh grunge, God. like head head banging. Yes, music. right. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say faded. Yeah, for sure. Because it's interesting. I love it. Yeah. Now I'm gonna have to listen to it on my way home. It's good, and it's like another regular song. Yeah, that could have been something. That could have been something. Could have been something. Mm-hmm. 
Um, so, okay. So right, there's our it. favorites. That answer that question. <laughs> <There's>... <laughs> uh, um, <clears throat> what's next? Okay, where are we going next? Rebecca, okay. All right, here, I'll go on. Rebe- yeah. Rebecca Babcock, Dan, you mentioned you recorded a lot of Mariah footage uh, back then on your VCR. Do you still have those VHS tapes? If so, are you planning to restore them and put them up digitally to share? Do you have anything... Um, you know, I do not. I don't have anything from back in those days, unfortunately. But okay, so you've mentioned on the show. I'm going to ask a question now. Yeah. Um. So you've mentioned on the show that you've had your collection and you lost it in the fire. I lost it in the fire, girl. <laughs> but I think we should tell in the fire. I think you should explain. The so story. what happened is when I moved to New York, I. What did I do? I sublet a, a room for like three months. That's how long I was supposed to be subletting for and then I'm like oh I'm just gonna get my own place uh-huh. like you what whatever and I remember when I was moving like I had I had all my Mariah stuff I also had like all this furniture yeah so like I had a lot of shit and everyone kept telling me to like sell it they're like you're gonna have to sell it just sell everything sell everything and I was like I'm not selling this shit uh-huh. I worked so hard for this and it's all good it's like it's real legit like furniture like yeah. a whole yeah. living room bedroom wow all of it that's a lot it is a lot. And I was like, and I would like, I was that crazy person. Like when I wanted something, like, even though it was like maybe out of my budget, I would wait. Uh-huh. Like I had bought a desk and then I knew what desk chair I wanted, but it was like $500. Uh-huh. So I had to like, I had to save for it. Yeah. And I did not have a desk chair for like a year. Uh-huh. I was like, but I wanted that desk chair. Uh-huh. So when I moved here, I moved everything in. How? In a truck? Yes, I flew here because, bitch, I was not driving no damn truck. I had my brothers <laughs> yeah, um, drive the truck. Oh, really? I actually had my brothers move everything <laughs> out of the house as well. Uh-huh. And it's because I had already left. Yeah. I left. I don't know why I decided this because I would never entrust my brothers with anything. But my mom was like, oh, like, I'll be there. And, like, you know, you just fly over. Yeah. And then, like, we'll come behind you you know like we'll empty put everything in the truck and like yeah. then the boys will drive it out now they had a truck or you had to rent a truck i rented a truck for them and it was right. like i had everything boxed up and yeah. ready to go okay so um furniture you, and mariah collection. everything like boxed up ready to yeah. go like um and i was just like okay they'll do it yeah. and then i'm already here i'm landed i'm here yeah and so they come in the truck and like, thank God they make it in one piece. Okay. And then. What's that so, like an eight hour drive or something? No, it's like 16. Oh, okay. It's like a, a whole day. I think. Yeah. It's like a whole day. Yeah. Maybe even more. In two days. I think they, they did have to stop somewhere, I think. Okay. So, but then, okay. So I put everything in a storage unit because I'm moving in to an already furnished sublet. Got it. So I have a bed, I have a dresser. And again, it's like, this is supposed to be temporary. Yeah. So I didn't really bring anything with me. Like I didn't have bring my Mariah collection. I didn't even like bring my TV. Like I just put everything. No, I put it in the storage. In Queens. Okay. No, in the Bronx. Okay. Girl, the South Side Bronx, which I was real <laughs> scared going there. And I'm from the South Side of Chicago, girl. So, like, I've seen it. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm hood. Like, but girl, so my brothers arrive and they're like, I don't know why, but I, this is the place that I found to put all my stuff because it had it something space. large enough. Yeah, it had the space. So I was like, because I need to literally put everything in. Almost everything didn't even fit. Like, it was like, filled to uh-huh. the maximum like uh-huh. i had like everything so i was like ooh girl so anyway so i put it in there <laughs> and then i'm thinking like you know i'll like slowly start taking some of my more valuable things yeah like because i'm telling you girl like i have nothing but my like a couple of bags of clothes yeah and like my essential documents like my birth certificate my social security card like yeah, the yeah. basics yeah Everything else, every photograph, uh-huh. every Mariah Carey DVD, all uh-huh. my Mariah Carey autographs, uh-huh. every fucking magazine Mariah has ever been on. Uh-huh. I mean, I, I had boxes upon boxes upon boxes yeah. of Mariah stuff. Yeah. And I put it all in there, all of it. No. And so. Oh, no. I know, girl. I know. <laughs> I get like anxiety just talking I'm about it. I'm anxiety. Because I literally had everything. I mean, 
I have like I lost all my baby pictures. I lost like every like momenta. Really? Mo- mon- what are they called? Momen- mementos. Mementos. Like literally everything. Shit. Except for one, I, I kept one Mariah thing, which is like an autographed picture of her from the Charm Brace tour in like the blue swing uh-huh. or in the swing coming down to the uh-huh. piano. Like uh-huh. I took a really great picture and had her autograph it. So I have that, but like I literally don't have anything else. Lost absolutely everything because time went by and at the end of my three months I was like okay I'm gonna go out and like look for my own apartment because I'm thinking you know I've been living in my own apartment in Chicago you know like it's to me it's like you can get an apartment you know, snap like your that, fingers you know there. like out in New York in Chicago, no nightmare it is not easy yeah to get an apartment yeah so girl I was like oh my god these people aren't renting to me this is that because I also I worked I worked in Chicago, like basically off the books my last year. Uh huh. And they want to check all that stuff. So they want to check your income. And then like, I don't have like a long history of income Yeah, yeah. because I worked off the books in Chicago. So it like says I only made $15,000 when clearly I made way more than that. Uh So like, I don't have like, nobody's going to rent to me and like, uh, because I'd only been working in New York for three months, I don't have a long enough record of, of income. Yeah. So I that's what I f- came across into. Like, nobody was going to rent to me. Because yeah. I'm still in the mindset of, I can live on my own yeah. in my own apartment in New York because that's what I can do. Because I have the money. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But I don't have, like the paperwork right yes <laughs> so New what a whole other crazy it is a system. whole other thing and i have been lucky to still be living in that apartment yeah with the same roommate the sublet the sublet oh, oh the same people <laughs> same people and everything but what had happened was after about a year or two of living there i i don't know what exactly happened but i like wouldn't pay like the 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 you know the the rent on the space which was like i think it was like 270 300 bucks a month yeah so like on the storage I, unit, on the storage unit mm-hmm. and it had been in 10 year 10 years it had been like 10 months a year two years i forget how long it was and then so like i started like falling back behind in payments yeah and at the same time i was also breaking up with one of my best friends oh, like no. long distance yeah because he like I was I had been paying his phone bill because I had him on my phone plan uh-huh. and I was like listen girl I'm not paying your phone bill anymore like yeah. if you don't pay your phone bill we're not gonna have a phone yeah and so he didn't pay it so the phone was cut off uh oh so what I was not aware of is after like five you know how like you pay your rent like you have yeah. five day grace period yeah on a storage unit you got less than that uh-huh so and they will sell your shit storage in, war style yes yeah, storage war style people girl. Come, if, yeah. if people don't know what that is there's a show about it called storage wars storage people um when there's a, an abandoned unit storage unit or something people come and there's an auction they don't see what's inside it's a blind no. auction yeah people just have to oh no they open the door they can't go in and touch. They just look. They, you look. It could just be brown boxes. Do you know I cannot watch Storage Wars to oh, this no. day because of this? And I was like, that that's what happens. But because I, a group of people come and they will bid like 100 bucks, 200 bucks, 300 bucks. Oh, honey, these, whoever got my unit, yeah. honey, they were, <laughs> they were real happy. Uh-huh. So what ended up happening is, number one, so I didn't like pay it for like, I think it was like eight days. Right. So, and they will call you, but when your phone is cut off, cause you and your best friend are arguing about who's paying the bill this month, uh, they can't call you. No. Cause had they called and been like, Hey, we're auctioning off your stuff. I would have been like, Oh, well here you go, girl. Yes. It's not like I didn't have the money. It's just like, you know how it is like, yeah, Oh, yeah. whatever. I'll pay it. You get like, don't worry. Whatever. Yeah. So when I went online to pay it, Like, they had said, oh, like, I couldn't log in. Yeah. And I was like, well, why the fuck can't I log in? Like, I need to pay this bill. Yeah. And so, like, I called them, and they're like, oh, your things were auctioned off on, like, the 8th of the month. Shut up. And I was like, what do you mean? Yeah. 
girl. And then I almost had to murder my own mother because oh, I no. spoke with her like two days later because I was like, mom, like, I think they like really like took my whole fucking storage unit. And she's like, oh, my God, you know what? You're right. What? They called here and I forgot to tell you that they had no. called. No. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, uh. you did you <laughs> forgot to tell me that the storage people were auctioning off my things? Because oh, like, no. I guess my mom's number was like the backup number. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, ooh, girl, like, we're not going to be talking talking for a few minutes. Oh, no. <laughs> so storage war style, I lost all my Mariah stuff. <laughs> oh, and I was like, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. But in all honesty, like after like a couple of weeks of like tra- traumatic, like boohoo, like I just lost my whole fucking life. Yeah. I was like, it's okay. Like I didn't just need stuff. any of those yeah. things. And it's been sitting there in the Bronx for Two years. And you're like probably now paying more than it's worth. Exactly. Just to have it. it. And it's like I didn't have any plan on getting any of those things out because I was not going to be getting my own apartment anymore. Yeah. Like that was clear. Yeah. So like if I really wanted those things because I knew this was like my long term home. Yeah. I could have and should have just went and got them. Yeah. But the Mariah stuff The Mariah stuff is uh you know what I mean? Like the, the Mariah spot. stuff. Yeah. And like some of, you know, like my childhood things like uh-huh. that. I should have went and got those things because those are what mattered the most. Right. And I didn't uh-huh. because I was like, oh, I'm not going there. It's like, eh, it's fine. Whatever. Like, right, right, right. it's not going to happen because like I'm thinking it's just like, oh, I'm just going to pay a late fee. Yeah. And blah, blah, blah. I didn't know these bitches were crazy like that. Yeah. So I say I lost it in a fire, but really I got storage wars, storage wars <laughs> because it is like losing everything in a fire, though. A one clean Literally sweep. Literally yeah. lost everything like the other day, like or whatever. I was like, oh, like, girl, I had good clothes. Uh-huh. I had suits. I had everything. And now I'm like working off of a closet, like with nothing in it. And I'm like, girl, ugh, whatever. Uh-huh. I literally lost everything. Jeez. But, you know. That's how you learn. Again, if I really wanted those things, why didn't I have them in my possession? Yeah. And you realize it just stuff. And then the other thing is, I guess, like, I didn't have insurance on the space either. Because once you lapse those five days, Uh, like, your insurance doesn't count anymore. Right. Uh So it's like, I couldn't even, like, do. I literally couldn't do anything. And they're like, oh, no, your things are gone. Uh Uh-huh. Been gone. I was like, girl, you didn't give nobody a chance. How are you going to call somebody in Chicago? Like, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. See, I want to, I wish there was a camera crew there because I want to see somebody win a box of Mariah. I know. Like, and then I'm thinking like, like it's after it had first happened, I was like, I need to go on eBay because where else would they be sell? They're yeah. clearly not going to keep all this Mariah shit. Like, who wants that? Well, We're going to sell it. Well, I bet they took it to like a store or something because these people are experts at like reselling shit. Yeah, they know exactly what to do. Yeah. Well, it's floating around somewhere, or it's in the trash. Someone at home probably has one of your CDs from they, the secondhand store. <laughs> Absolutely. Or it's in the trash. <laughs> yeah. Or the trash. Yeah. And it's all right because I think it's it's been fine. Well, you're like free from it now. You don't have to carry it around. I know. I know. Like I don't have like all anything. Worry like, about I just it. don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Because I mean, it was getting to be too many boxes of Mariah's things. <laughs> and in all honesty, even when I was in Chicago, like I just kept everything in boxes and like, you know, I'd have like yeah. a couple pictures or posters or things, but like all the magazines, like I just kept them all in boxes. Yeah. And, like yeah, yeah. every like six months I'd go in and like, look you at know, it all. rummage through. But, oh, like, oh, my, my Mariah shit in Sydney is in boxes too. Yeah. It's like, come on. You nice know. boxes, but I'll yes. like open the lid and just check everything's still there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I the only thing like I mean I miss all of my things but like one of my other prized possessions of Mariah was like the Rolling Stone magazine her first one in the cowboy oh, hat yeah, uh-huh. and she had autographed that for me and I was like oh my god like I really wanted that framed oh. but it's been sitting in a fucking box for fucking uh-huh, 10 years uh-huh. I know. and I'm like oh my god like that was a sore spot for me like that was like oh my god I can't believe I don't have that anymore yeah but years later 
like maybe two years ago now. Yeah. I got it. I got a new one from eBay. Uh huh. And it was in flawless condition because, yes. you know, I kept all my things flawless conditioned because, you know, you can't be having people touch your magazine. No, no, no. Because no. the oil from their fingers. Dirty fingers, yes. Yes. No, 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 no. So I kept all my stuff really good and I found a really good, um, you know, mint condition uh-huh. Rolling Stone magazine on eBay. Yeah. And I bought it uh-huh. and then I had Mariah sign it at the Christmas show. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So I have it now again. A and replacement. Now I just, I have a replacement, but she signed it in a gold marker. And I was like, girl, <laughs> it doesn't show up as well. You should know these things. I needed it in black. <laughs> but whatever. Because, you know, she takes whatever somebody else yes, gives her uh-huh. and uses it on, you know, everybody. Now, was that with her bad hand? It was, right? It was. But this, I think it's a good uh, signature, though. Oh, okay. She I think time. it is. It yeah. Because, like you know, rushed. it's not like a rushed one. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so I do have that. So like that makes me happy. So that's the story of the fire. Yeah. Dead and gone. Mm-hmm. So, if, you know, you're digging through the trash in the Bronx. It says, dear Dan, love Mariah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know where it belongs. Yeah, or like a really good, luxurious couch. Because I had bought these couches that, again, you know how like Mariah on Cribs had those really deep, wide, beige colored couches? Bitch, I found some, not her level, but like some very similar to that. And I was like, yes, this this is what I want. Because it's like Mariah. uh And girl, you could like sleep two people on that couch. Uh Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, it was very luxurious and comfortable. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, so to answer your question, Rebecca, Rebecca Babcock, <laughs> no VHSs, <laughs> no VHSs, <laughs> or somebody has them, but God knows. But in all honesty, I wouldn't think that it would even be like what I would, what I remember you, having on there. It's that all on is, YouTube. It's all on YouTube. Yeah. Like I don't think there was anything like that great that we haven't seen or like you know what I mean. Yeah, like, I think. Any major fan has done uploaded yeah. it already. Yeah. Um, should we keep going or should we wrap it up? It's well, what, how 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 much time years are we long. here? Ten yeah. years long. <laughs> yeah. I guess we are coming up on it. Well, that's the thing. Maybe we can save some of these questions for another Q and A. Yes, let's do that. And let's do that. You guys want to know more about us? You can. Uh, we'll, we'll announce when we're going to do it and then send some questions in. Yeah, or just whenever you, they might pop in your head. Yes, write them down. Um, I feel like we did not answer a lot of questions, Martin. Should we do a quick fire round? <laughs> Let's do a quick fire, real quick. Okay. All right. Before we go, we'll do a quick fire. Okay, wait. What What are you going to do? All right, Elusive Butterfly wants to know, do you guys think Mariah ever made amends with Walter Asinafius? Asinafius. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can never... <laughs> no, I don't believe they did, and I don't believe they will ever work together again. But I think she's not bitter. No, I think she's moved on. She's yeah. over it. She has new new people. No, but remember there was that story that he was a contender to work on Trantus? Yes. She didn't say no, not him. Right. She said maybe. So we could get a maybe moment. Yeah. All right. Do you know what I mean? Um, That's a maybe moment, but I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't think so. Yeah. Um, how about um, favorite... Least favorite album cover from Steve, Steve, I Duchon. Think Steve Duchon. Ooh, um, least favorite is least favorite for me is going to be um, mine's memoirs. M- memoirs. Yeah, I was born. No point to it. Yeah, and my favorite is Butterfly with the eyes closed. Oh, that's good. That's my favorite. I'm always nostalgic about Rainbow. Rainbow's great. Because I was always fascinated why she wanted that, like, um, decorated wood in the background. Uh-huh. To spray paint it. Yeah. <laughs> and I had this friend who looked at it. And he's like, why is she vandalizing such beautiful wood? <laughs> I mean, girl. She had to, for the, for the art. For the artwork. For the art. Art. Yes. Come I know. on. I know. Come on. Um, I think Rainbow for me. Oh, that's but good. But the butterfly one. is really good. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um. Do we have any other really great ones? Let's do a quick we have so many. Oh, let's do one from Denny's Moira. Oh yes, Denny's. Um, okay, he wants to know. Oh, oh my god, he got a lot of them. I know. Um, okay, her top most iconic performances that, that you feel, feel has defined her career. Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, that's a good one. Um, I think obviously that first national anthem she ever did, or Star Spangled Banner. You think? Are you talk? Are you talking about the NBA or the NFL? America the Beautiful. I don't know. 
in, in, from 1990 or from 2001? 1990. Oh, that one. That's that America one. the Beautiful. Yeah. Yes, at the NBA All-Star Game or the NBA Finale Game. I mean, that was obviously career-defining. Yes, because that did put her on the map. Yeah. I, but I feel like, ooh, gosh, there's so many. Defining, it's hard. I would, I mean, I almost would want to say, uh, like, a vision of love from the Grammys. Yeah. Even though it may not be her best, but it, like, definitely, like. Or even the We Belong Together, Fly Like a Bird Grammys. Oh, that could be, that's a really good one. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. All right. What else did she perform that was like on a really big national level? Um, national. What about a world music award moment? A world music award? Yeah. I don't know. Wait, maybe like a. Um, oh, no. I don't know. That is sort of a hard question. Hard question. Yes. Because it's like you know what what defines the career performance wise. I would say it'd be have to be one of her earlier things. Yeah, that really sort of cemented her as a vocalist. Yeah, so I would say Vision of Love, like Grammys or Saturday Night Live, like that. Like because you know everybody back in those days, everybody watched. Yes, you yes, know yes. the award shows and Saturday Night Live. Yeah, like those were big audiences. Yeah. Um, all right, let's do. Okay, Ryan from England has some quick, some good quick fires. Okay, all right, and then we'll wrap it up from there. Okay, um, okay. Uh, what has been your favorite era and look? Ooh, that's a tough one. Tough. Because I like a lot of them. I know. I love the butterfly era, but sometimes her hair wasn't the best. I know, but it had actually really good hair though. They have really good hair, and I loved seeing her in like cute little, you know. Dresses. dresses and things and like it was very too toppy yeah but if i had to pick overall overall i would say the rainbow era because she still mm. had like that cute girliness to it but it was still fashionable yeah like more trendy yeah i would say rainbow era look because the hair was always good it was really good she was always beautiful in the face yeah and you know she gave you something interesting and like the divas live Looks. Oh gosh, yes. Oh my god, yes. Uh huh. I think I'm gonna agree with you. Because butter- the butterfly is good. Butterfly is good, but I think rainbow. She went all the way yeah. with rainbow. All the way. But then she, she had, had to take it back down with charm bracelet. Do you know what I mean? A little bit, yeah. Even though I liked a lot of charm bracelet. I did, but it was more cash. Yeah, and sometimes it was tacky. Yeah. Like, uh-huh. yeah. No, rainbow. So, rainbow. I agree. Rainbow, rainbow, yeah. rainbow. I love how these are quick fires. So we have to <laughs> negotiate our way through it. <laughs> um, okay, after Mariah, who is your favorite artist and why? I mean, that for me, like, it, like I love all, like, the old school classic divas. I love Madonna. I love Janet. I yeah, love Whitney. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, like, I love Kelly Clarkson. I love Brandy. Like, yeah. Those are, like, my go-tos outside of Mariah. They're all females. Yeah. See, my my next favorite that I'm, like, really interested in and, and will follow singles and videos and all that stuff is Bjork. Yeah. Love Bjork. Love her. She's so interesting. Yeah. She's, she has so much going on. I can never get into her though. She has a lot going on. She has a lot, especially now. Well, I'm behind, so behind on Bjork because I'm too busy with Mariah. With Mariah. I know. Girl, I know how it goes. But honestly, like I love just overall female pop and R&B singers. Yeah. So I uh-huh. love them all. But like I follow nobody close, closely. Yeah. Like I do Mariah. Me too. You like Kelly Clarkson was performing at the Today Show here in New York City. Yeah. And I didn't even know it because had I known it, I would have went there. Uh huh. But I didn't know it until she was on my TV. Uh huh. Um, okay. Dill from Ryan. Martin, where would you ever move back to Australia? If so, where would you live? Um, one day, yeah. It'd be nice. Yeah, I mean, shit's not? getting crazy here. We're now friends J- with North Korea. Honey. Uh huh. So on the to do list, but not yet. Not yet. At some point, why not? And he also asks, Dan, if you were to leave New York City, where would you go? I would be like, girl, anywhere that doesn't have winter. L.A. L.A. Girl, I'm done with the winters. Done, done. This last one was so long. I still feel like it's not even summer it's like, yet. It was chilly last night. Yeah. yeah. It's like, this is spring weather. It's June. Like, it's, come on. I'm real. I just, I don't know. I well, just can't do should winters. We, should we tell them the conversation we were having? Sure. Well, Dan and I are secretly talking with my husband. Everybody, all my friends, I'm telling this. <laughs> so I'm like, come, come, come. We're thinking of going to LA. Yeah. For real. Like checking it out. And like podcast wise, it's, it's more opportunities out there. Yeah. I mean, and I'm, I'm up for a change. There's I mean, lambs I, out there. There's a lot going on out there. It, it would be very, I've never 
visited LA though, so I should probably visit it before I have a look. Yeah, you know, pull the trigger. Yeah, but you know, I don't have twenty five boxes of Mariah stuff to lug around. Yeah, so like it'd be it a real easy move. Yes. <laughs> um, is that on the maybe list? Mariah's yeah. out there. She is. She likes it. If she likes it, you'll like it, Dan. Uh, well, I would hope so. Yeah. I just think I would love the weather. <laughs> the weather. I need and a break. The sun. I can't do it winter. But then you'll have to drive, which I'm like, girl, do See, I, I like, want to drive everywhere? I like driving because you can podcast. Well, yeah. Now. But I can podcast on the train, girl. Yeah. See, back when I was driving in Sydney, it was just you had to listen to the radio and music. Oh, yeah, yeah. But now you can like, podcast your way through you the You can trip. do the whole thing. That's amazing. That would be easy. Yeah. I could get used to driving again. Yeah, I love driving. I mean, it's I love only being been... sitting in traffic. Well, I don't know if I love that, but I don't get like road rage. No, no, no. I just sit so there. Like, di- no, you know, I don't like love I wouldn't it. Be. But I, just <laughs> I don't sit, like love it. Sit there and deal with it. Yeah, because I'm thinking, oh, I can listen to the thing, catch up on music, do what you got to do. Yeah, absolutely. But then, like, it's like, you have to travel so far for everything, right? No, it depends on like where you live versus work location. Well, I guess. Well, you know, anyway, it's 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 in the it's in the, the um, suggestion box. The suggestion the maybe box. box. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so I think that's that's let's it. wrap it up. Yeah, because yeah, we have so many questions, and we just got all off on tangents about all kinds of crazy things. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, I think we should do more Q and A's. We should. We will. Um, okay, that's it. Well, if you have any questions, <laughs> think keep them in your head. We'll announce another Q and A soon, and you can email it to us. Yeah. Uh, or just email them and then we'll save them. Yeah. You know what I Mariah mean? Report at gmail.com. Yeah. Um, we can save them in the, you know, technology in the email. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Exactly. Um, well, I guess we'll keep an eye on Mariah. I feel like the album, something's happening soon. Something. Well, yes. I think once the Vegas shows start, I think something will be getting new, more, more information. information. But you know sort of how it goes now. Like, you know how like. Even when Me, I Am Mariah was coming out a few years ago, it's like, oh, you would release the single and then the album would be out in like three to four months. Yeah. Now I feel like the single comes out like maybe like six to eight weeks as opposed to like 12 weeks Uh before. Uh So like when we get the single, I think the album's going to follow pretty quickly thereafter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yes. So we'll see. All we can do is wait. I know. It's coming. That's it. All right, guys. Thanks, thanks for, for tuning in. Thanks you... for all the questions. I hope you got to know more of about us, something, and what we think. <laughs> and this is all our opinion, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we don't know nothing. We don't know nothing. We don't know nobody. <laughs> uh, okay, guys. Well, thanks for listening, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye, bye, bye.